The last bona fide top of the draft defensive lineman is Dan Williams from Toledo. The Chicago Bears could choose him with their next selection. And remember, Dave wants that. This is the first pick of his era, and he knows the value of defensive linemen as a defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. He shuffled in seven or eight of them on the top-ranked defense last year. However, everyone else in the league knows the value of defensive linemen. This is where a Niners, this is where a couple of other teams may try and get up and get the last bona fide blue chip there. Chris Mortensen, what have you heard on this uh, possible trade development? Well, Chris, you're pretty much right on there. Now, they would have preferred Copeland or Curry in this spot. The Bears would have. They're not prepared to take Dan Williams here unless they really have to. Now, they've been talking to Green Bay, uh, who wants to move up there, Indianapolis, uh, to take Bettis, Philadelphia, possibly to take Dan Williams uh, or Patrick Bates. And also, the 49ers obviously want to move up. If the Bears can't trade here, I expect them to take Curtis Conway, the wide receiver from Southern Cal. Now, let's go to Santa Clara with Fred Edelstein. Thanks, Mort. The 49ers are talking to the Bears. This is their opportunity. As I said before, they like the three defensive linemen. If they're going to get Dan Williams, they have to get him here. You got to think that maybe the Saints are interested in Dan Williams, too. They may be talking to the Chicago Bears. Less than four minutes on the clock for Dub Bears, their first pick in the non-Mike Ditka era. Dave wants that, and Mike McCaskey uh, are really the two running this year's draft, and that, that's a change in the Bears' philosophy from past years. One question is, they have always prided themselves on the defensive line. A couple years ago, Dan Hampton retired. Richard Dent has made a lot of noise that he wants out of there. Dave wants that may appease him. Steve McMichael certainly toward the end of his road. Yes, they picked Spellman one last year, and a few years back they picked Trace Armstrong one. Guys are going to be good players. Do you pick again up front, or do you go to the other area that the Chicago Bears have tried to address the last couple of years but has been aging that offensive line because you got Lincoln Kennedy and you got William Rolfe that are there so those are really the three players or Conway the wide receiver those are their four picks guys Chris I think I think you go Curtis Conway I think that's the area you go when you think of the Chicago Bears you have to think Tommy Waddle has been their most productive wide receiver over the last couple of years Tom is not the fastest guy in the world now remember Dave wants that comes from Jimmy Johnson's camp Jimmy Johnson preaches and talks speeds so it's got to be, in my opinion, it's got to be speed wide receiver. Here's the Bears pick. The Chicago Bears select Curtis Conway, wide receiver, University of Southern California. What does this mean for Harbaugh, having a speed guy like this? I think you're going to see a smile, obviously, on Curtis Conway's face, but you're certainly going to see a smile on Jim Harbaugh's face. He signed the big contract, but with the big co signing of the contract, the burden falls on his shoulder as far as offensive production goes. Now you've got somebody who's considered an exceptional football player. He gives them a great kick return man as well. This is that little underneath screen that you see a lot of college football players, uh, football teams run, except probably the best return guy in college football. Look at the natural instincts. There's so many natural things with the football. I think that's what you look for. In the open field, he's got great vision, and then there goes the speed, the burst away from everybody. Here he is going down the field as a wide receiver, catches over either shoulder well, got great quicks, not the biggest guy in the world, but certainly gives the Chicago Bears the option of having a threat at the kick return position. Now people People can't look at the Bears and say, let's shut the running game down because they can't go outside. Now they got a kid, and he will play right away that can get down the field for him. So Dave wants that, the defensive coach, but yet speed, speed, speed. The Dallas Cowboys certainly uh, knew something about that, and he knows what Curtis Conway can do for him on his offense. And offense, as you pointed out, Joe, that, that really are, are kind of plotting. Remember, they got Hayward in the backfield now instead of Muster, so that even slows them down a little bit more. Conway speeds him up. Good move for the Bears? Well, I think so. I, I think when you take a Chris Conway, I thought he was the most productive player in college football last year. And when you go after receivers and in the pros or college football, you want three things. Great hands, he's got hands. Rare speed. Now, this guy runs fast all the time. And you want a return person. Now, he returned punts and he returned kickoffs for Southern Cal. He's on Southern Cal's track team and he's an ex-quarterback. So they get a great athlete, Chris.